Okay, let's look at our new over temperature alarm. So associated with pin 3, the independent thermocouple, is now a little triangle which shows our alarm. So we can see our alarm here in the bell. Look at the bell. We can look at the details. And we can configure the alarm. And we can see that pin 3 has an alarm associated with it. And we can see what the present value of the probe is and what the set point is. So we can click on the edit and we can set this to say 85. Check. And now it's 85. If we want to simulate an alarm, we can click on it and set it down low. 20. The alarm goes off. Let's go back. We see it's red. We can go back. And now what we can see is that we have a red bell. So we can get back in here and edit this and turn this back up. Now, I'm thinking we probably want to set this so the operators can't edit this value. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to configure this alarm here. And this alarm is associated with pin number three. We'll see here that we have the alarm here. This is the high alarm. Okay, and here it is. So it's currently enabled. So I can turn this to turn off allow change and hit finish. Now when we come back out, we will see that we've turned off the ability for the operators to get on here and edit. Notice edit is now blacked out. So we, we can't change this from this screen. The engineer has to get in to configure, set up, edit the pen, edit pen 3, go to the alarm, change this value. We can change this say to 90. Check and hit finish. And then we'll come verify that it's now at 90. Go to our pen view, go to details, configure. Okay, so you're here. Now it's set to set to 90. So that's the two ways. So I'm going to leave this configured as not editable from the home screen. And if you'd like to change that to be editable, then uh, just go back there into the settings. If not, I recommend you leave it that way so the operators can't mess with it.